pretty lousy raid. Olavok unlocked. Right, so that was the... Those were the two bosses I just fought. I... I'm a really big sucker for language in world building. So the fact that they had this whole thing, like, with these, these naming mechanics and whatnot, really brought the world to life. Right, you may not like it, but you're the bait. You've got to alert the entire defense net. And then? Will you leave me be? Cough, will you let me go? We'll see, my dear. Right, so now we're playing as Mirin. Mirian? Mirian? Yeah. She's the Ankh. So there's all this like racial stuff going on. Like oversaturation of the colors of this world, this even though everything else was kind of like foggy and overcast earlier, it makes me think, wow, this is like I'm supposed to be really appreciating the art here, and I am. It looks pretty. Come on. But I think visuals are a big component in in uh, a shmup where there's like a lot of 3D elements going on and everything like that. But obviously, that's not something that every dev can concern themselves with. If, different parts of the the game are the focus. Let's face it, when you have a lot of bullets on the screen, how much are you really noticing? I see the rain. Lots of aerial defense. I'm coming now, baby. You should live in. So what she has as a like sub weapon is a a option. Big fan of options because they they're very consistent. And that's very weird because it looks like there's a human right there. Also, the tanks look like metal slug tanks. I hope you die in there, cough. <laughs> right, so this is happening at the same time that the other thing was the previous level I just. Sorry for all the lag. I'm in the service tunnel. Probably because I'm in the easy mode, but it's been like relatively forgiving thus far.
So she's not in water anymore. I think. And, I don't know. Ash just makes me suggest it's like some sort of like subterranean like... The rock, hang back. Oh wait, this is, we, we just completely changed oh, characters. My bad. So, they're in a... Yeah, like in a volcano or something, or near a volcano. Ooh, gooey. I wonder how I get time back to kill on those guys. That's the real question. Give me back my power up. Oh my gosh. You get really sloppy when you make one mistake, because one mistake makes more. Also, they when they die, they they give off a, a little acid thingy that hurts you. Driad, hold on. I think I saw something strange. I'll make a lap around the observation tower. What is it, Ito? Nothing. Sorry for the false alarm. Oh, so this is also Wait. happening at the same time. Damn, it's a sentinel. Had to sneak up on me. Matoshka? Ito, get the hell out of there as fast as you can. Ito! The rock, what happened? There's a huge storm over there. Communications are shot. The rock, the passage is clear. Guide the carrier through. I'll keep the guard train busy. Get that can docked. Alright, alright. I can't even see myself. All the smoke. I wonder why guard trains are... Like, guard trains are definitely just a video game. Has there ever been a real guard train in, like, life? I mean, obviously not one with a bunch of funky guns like this, but, like, a train that was used for war. Like, as a weapon. Kriad, it's Durok. Carrier in place. I repeat, carrier is in place. Sergeant says we'll need at least 200 meters since we still have no clue what we're even looking for. Do it! I can't think of one shmup that is not like other shmups that was re-released sort of recently. It's, uh, what was it? Wild Guns, right? Wild Guns Reloaded? Yeah, I... Or was it... Am I, am I getting that wrong? Wild Guns? Or is it Sunset Riders? Or... One of those games... I think it's called Sunset Riders. I might just say it's Reloaded. Um, they re-released re it on the Switch. That game is also cool. Um, but they had to include more robot mechanics, I guess, because it's the product of the time, I don't know. It's Durok. We're packed. I repeat, we're packed. Heading for the surface now. Nicely done.
We didn't lose a single person during the Medita operation, but we lost an entire civilization. The scientific data and documents we found there were horrific, beyond what we could imagine. The Imperials, hoping to develop technology that could control time, burned out or otherwise destroyed all their Anki captive sensory organs in order to make them more docile and easier to handle. These deaf, blind, nerveless creatures are indistinct from the worms in the Manita caves. Except for their dreams, that is. The only thing that keeps them from simply expiring is their occasional remembrance of life. Inspired, of course, by a fear of death. The project could be described as a nation living in fear serving as slaves to a planet. There's no technology that can fix what's been done to them. There is no way to right this wrong. Even if we free our people, we cannot give them back their lives. It's over for the Yankees. Okay, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I know I said I liked the, the voice acting for this game, but, um, Maybe maybe her voice actress is, is is not quite hitting the mark. How about that? Not saying she's bad, she's not quite hitting the mark. Because of all the penalties, obviously, you get a uh, bad grade. Oh, I got a better grade than before. Uh, how about that? Um hmm. So according to the stream schedule, which uh, I end around uh nine or nine thirty. Nine thirty. So I got like another hour left but i will spend the last half hour doing a little bit of talking um and less gaming because there are some points about the stream and uh my youtube channel that i wanted to cover uh for the future so i'll i'll, I'll do that when you know another news i also bought a new mic but, uh, past and future these concepts don't have much meaning for people who Talk can easily thing. visit both. Still, one can live an entire lifetime without ever looking back or forward. Ultimately, it is only the present and ourselves, our own happiness and comfort, that we take into account. Where can this pride of self go? And what shall we become without descendants, or without being able to pay respect to the trials and beliefs of our ancestors? We may be citizens of the world and advocate interplanetary peace and community, yet our ancestors shed their blood for flags and totems, and their families made up a close-knit tribe, a nation. Language and land kept them together. But this too may fade. The entire universe is composed of units and subunits. Tissue is made of cells and cells of atoms. This is the essence of nature. The same nature that made a mockery of me. It was my fate to be childless. The flame that burns brightest burns quickest. And with a future denied me, this is how I chose to live my life. I had hoped the raid of the Eyeborg factory in the Cardinal Canyon would let me burn as bright as the stars. Wild, she's like semi-suicidal slash like latent disregard for her own life because she can't have a kid. I mean, that's... If she's a soldier, that's a thing. Makes sense. That's... It's Durak. Aerial defense is minimal. I'll begin infiltration momentarily. Copy that, Durak. You should be able to open the gate by eliminating the sentry gun. That's not an un... First charge out. I guess it's not an uncommon character trait in Japanese culture, because there was a there was a manga called um, "Till Death Do, Do Us Part." You know, like the way that you say it in, in, when you're married. Um, where one of the characters, she's like this military soldier who, like, becomes very protective of the, like one of the main character, little girl type characters, because she can't have her own daughter. And it ruined her like relationship or whatever because she couldn't have a daughter. Oh man, I'm what is going on? 
where are these lasers? My whole like sense of perspective is, is screwed up. But anyway, yeah, like the the whole self-sacrificing soldier because she can't have a daughter is uh Like, it's one thing to want to be, you know, as much of a soldier as you can be uh, of your own volition, but because you can't have a kid, I feel like, you know, uh, I, I mean, having having a descendant is like a big deal in, in a lot of cultures, so I suppose that would be the way something right? And uh, you know, maybe it's okay. She got this. She got this really dope sounding sub weapon called Sonic Sword. And anything with the word sword in it always gets me excited. So uh, I'll I'll use that at my nearest. Uh, I don't know. Moment when I'm overtaken. I passed security, and I'm inside the plant. Perfect. You'll be coming to a junction soon. You'll have to follow the path of the raw material transporter. You've got to hide in the supplies. You want me to fly inside the raw material? A little thing. Yes, and do it fast. Be careful. Uh, what? What was I supposed to do? Did I misunderstand? I have to hide. Oh, I have to hide inside the raw material. Oh, whoops. Okay. I get it now. I get it. I made a mistake. I. Did they give me more s slow down time for this so I can figure out how the heck that's supposed to work? Oh, that's tough. You have to follow the thing all the way through. Okay. Uh, try again. Uh. A schmuck stealth mission. Fascinating. Oh, no, what is it? Uh, feet up. And there's environmental variables like pushing your ship along. So that makes it extra hard. Jeez. Oh boy. Tsuchigumo. That's the most Japanese name. Hey, she got the... I don't know what sword that's from, but that's what... It looks like a sword from many shops. I can't even describe it. Radiant Silver Gun. <laughs> it, was, it was... That was cool. Gross, what was that? It's a spider bomb, but it actually shoots spiders. Or something that looks like a spider? I don't know. It's not dead yet, what's going on? There we go. Oh, y'all check out that latest EDF. I heard it's the best EDF that's ever been, but that's not really a high... 
High bar. Don't 